Now, main headings we have covered in this table. I'll just show you this table scrolls down till here. We have taken this from Apurba Shastri. And this table summarizes everything that I will explain further on in this video. Okay. Whenever they ask you a lab diagnosis, you will first tell specimen collection, correct? The specimen collection. What will the specimen be in? Here they have asked you pulmonary tuberculosis, right? So definitely you will collect sputum. Two sputums, one will be spot sputum and the other one will be early morning sputum. The next day early morning sputum it will be. But for children, because they swallow sputum, you cannot collect sputum. Hence, you will have to take gastric aspirate. See this? Gastric aspirate in children. Fine. So, this is about specimen collection for pulmonary tuberculosis. If it is extra pulmonary tuberculosis, that is EPTB, then you will have to use specimens based on the site. Okay, but here we are concentrating on pulmonary tuberculosis. So, specimen collection is over. Now, what you have to do, once you have collected this um, pulmonary, uh, you have collected the specimen, you should concentration of the specimen becomes important here. Okay. There is something called as digestion. Sorry. There is something called as digestion, decontamination and concentration of specimen. This we will be covering for you. Don't worry. I will give you, give you the details. There are two methods in this. Petroff's method and NALC. That is N-acetyl L-cysteine plus 2% NaOH method. Okay. Which are the two methods for the concentration of the specimen? Petroff's method and N-acetyl L-cysteine with 2% NaOH that is NaLc, 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 NALC plus 2% NaOH. In the first one it is 4% NaOH, okay. Now let us move on. After you concentrate the specimen, you have to do direct microscopy. This you will already be aware of, Zeal Nielsen stain. In technique you will have to see long slender beaded bacteria which will be acid fast bacteria this is what is the main point here for you acid fast bacilli you should see it should be red color they are saying okay normally we have drawn pink actually they're saying it should be red color acid fast bacilli okay what are the other ways of uh, staining you can use quinones Cold, as, uh, cold acid fast staining. This is the same thing as Zeal Nielsen staining. However, this is cold. There is no heating in this. Okay. So, there is Kin Yong. K I N. Kin, kin Yong's cold acid fast staining. Okay. Then you have the Oramine Phenol technique. Oramine phenol technique will be fast, I think. Okay. Now, though that will be the direct microscopy for you. Then you will do the culture. Culture will take weeks together. Please remember this. It will take weeks together. You and it will give you rough, tough, buff colored colonies. Buff will be kind of cream color. Okay. Rough, tough, buff colored colonies. Fine. Then you have liquid media, which will be. Middle Brooks 7H9 media. This is not very important for you. Okay. You can leave that. You can also culture it on liquid media basically. Conventional cultures. Then you have automated culture methods. This will be faster. Uh, two to three weeks. You can use MGIT, BACT alert and EP, ESP system. We will come to the details of these. Actually, this um, MGIT is nothing but Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. GIT, Growth Indicator Tube, Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. Okay, Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube. Fine, we are here. Please pay attention, we are here. Automated Culture Methods, Mycobacterial Growth Indicator Tube, then BACT Alert, then ESP System. In this, this P actually stands for pressure. Okay. 
then coming to biochemical identification biochemical identification you have niacin test nitrate reduction test pyrazinamidase test then you have resistance to tch actually this tch stands for theophene carboxylic acid hydrazine Okay, resistance to this that is a biochemical identification please pay attention here we are in biochemical identification niacin test nitrate test pyrazinamide test resistance to tch thiophene carboxylic acid hydrazide test okay <clears throat> then coming to serology here you will always write ELISA, don't forget, okay, always we like to write ELISA and then you will write ant antigen detection, antibody detection, you can do both, whatever you want you can do. And then molecular methods, PCR, don't forget to write all these, these are easy for everything you will write these, ELISA. Then you can also write typing, typing actually means what bacteriophage typing, you know that, right. Now let us move on to animal pathogenicity. Here you see animal pathogenicity. When it comes to animal pathogenicity, you actually do animal inoculation. Okay. You can do it on guinea pig and rabbit. This is guinea pig. Okay. Then we are moving to uh, latent tuberculosis. How you will diagnose latent tuberculosis uh, by tuberculin test, manto test. Okay. Interferon gamma assay. Now rabbit. let us yes rabbit. Now let us uh, revise what we have seen. Before that, let me show you Zeal Nielsen stain. Because if they ask you this question, you will have to draw these diagrams. Okay, Zeal Nielsen stain. This is the one blue background with pink bacilli. Yes. Okay. Blue background. Yes, blue background with pink bacilli. Say. Pink. But the blue color is like a yeast. Yes, 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 okay. Then we are going to also show the Levenstein Jensen medium. Please remember the spellings Levenstein Jensen media. This is how it looks, this green one. You will have to draw this diagram with rough, tough, buff colored colonies. Fine. Rough, rough buff, kaffa. Rough, tough, buff. What is meaning of that? Rough means it is rough. Buff means it is cream colored. Tough means it will be very hard. Okay. Now let us revise what How? we have seen. Laboratory diagno diagnosis of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis. First we will collect the specimen that will be sputum to specimens. Then for uh, digestion, decontamination and concentration of we will use this Petroff method and NALC. Say NALC. 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 LCNA. So, yeah, NALC uh, that is N acetyl L cysteine with a 2% NaOH. Then you have direct microscopy, Zeal Nielsen technique. In this, you have to draw the diagram, don't forget. Then, uh, other uh, staining methods are Kinyon's cold acid fast staining. Or mean phenol. So you will have to explain all these staining techniques in detail depending on the marks. Then you have the conventional culture that you do on the solid media that is the Lowenstein Jensen media. Then you also have liquid media. Automated culture methods remember to write MGIT that is mycobacterial growth indicator tube, backed alert and ESP system. See automated. Automated yes. Wait, ma. Automated culture. Automated culture. MGIT. MGIT. Backed alert. Backed alert. ESP. ESP. Okay. Then we have uh, biochemical indication. Uh, identification we have the niacin test nitrate reduction test pyrazinamide test then you have the resistance to tch that is thiophene carboxylic acid hydrazine 
Can you say this? Thiophene. Thiophene. Carboxylic. Carboxylic. Acid. Acid. Hydrazide. Can you say hydrazide? Hydrazide. Hydrazide. Resistance to this has to be checked. Now coming to serology, you actually uh, biochemical identification is niacin test, right? You have to draw one table. Let me show you. So basically you can see this table after the growth on the LJ media, which is a solid media. You can do whether we can check whether it is slow growing or rapid growing. If it is slow growing, then you will do a niacin test, and if it is positive, then you will declare it as positive for uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Please note this. Let me explain again. On the LJ media, there is growth, yes, right? Yes. Once there is growth on the LJ media, you will check whether it is slow. If it is slow, then you will do niacin test and if niacin test is positive then you will declare it as mycobacterium tuberculosis okay so this is where your niacin test is helping you serology yes serology you can do antigen detection or antibody detection whichever you want you can do then coming to molecular methods you will not write pcr then you can write typing probably, you will write for all the exams, uh, all the tests. Then here you will see animal pathogenicity, you will do animal inoculation, guinea pig, rabbit and you can diagnose latent tuberculosis by tuberculin test. Rabbit, rabbit. Yeah. You can diagnose latent tuberculosis by tuberculin test or mantor test or even interferon gamma assay. Now one more thing I have to tell you in this video before we close off. See, this is a very brief. Each of this you will have to explain based on the marks. Okay. Actually, this uh, whenever you do direct microscopy under the Zeal Nielsen stain, please I need you to also focus here on the spelling Z I E H L Z I E H L L E E N E E L Nielsen. Please don't forget the spelling Zeal Neil Sen Smear. Okay, this is our acid pass staining. You can also explain how to do the staining. Okay, if there is time. Now, the number of bacilli you see, like if you are seeing greater than 10 bacilli, uh, greater than 10 bacilli, okay, in uh, 20 fields, oil immersion field, I think this is OF. OIF is oil immersion field, right? So, if you are seeing greater than 10, okay, in 20, um, you have to screen how many fields? 20 fields. If you see greater than 10 per field, then the grading will be the highest, 3 plus. This is an important table. You have to remember this. Then, if you are seeing 1 to 10, in 50 fields, then it is 2 plus. The last 3 are 100 fields. So, how much time it might take, right? 100 fields you have to scan. And if you are seeing uh, anything between these, you will have to give it as 1 plus scanty and mil. Mean you can remember at least 20 fields you will do. If it is greater than 20 bacilli, you will grade it as 3 plus. If you do, then if it is, if it, if you are not getting uh, 10, if you are getting 1 to 10, you have to screen 50 fields and you will grade it as 2 plus. And then if there are not that many bacilli, you have to screen 100 screens, 100 fields you will have to screen. And based on that, you will grade it as 1 plus scanty or nil. Nil will be no AFB in 100 oil field, oil immersion field, no AFB, isn't this good, there is no AFB, so you will grade it as nil, okay. So this completes the lab diagnosis of uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, like I told you each of these we will have to explain in detail.
but as of now i have given you a overall picture fine 